Hey guys, so I was asked to go over the home-built windscreen. Some people really said that they thought it was the best windscreen that I'd ever seen on the KLR, etc. Um, which is quite a compliment considering it's just, you know, a couple minutes with a heat gun. Pretty standard sheet of Lexan that you can pick up at Home Depot. And just a couple brackets. Uh, so we'll go over the components. I'll throw in some pictures that coming up and we'll take a look at it. So before some of those big road trips I did this summer, I decided to try to make a homemade one. And uh, we'll get this pulled off so you can kind of take a look at it. But I literally just bought a sheet of uh, Lexan um, at like Home Depot, one of your stores. I believe it's uh, 12 inches across and it was by two feet. Um, obviously I've cut some off the top. And then uh, just sort of as last minute, I came up with the, uh, the idea to use these brackets. And I'll, I'll pull these off so you can kind of see what they are, but they're for doing joist work, um, you know, two by fours and things, and it it's a 90 degree turn. So this edge is, is flat while this side does a turn and then becomes, well, 90, 90 degrees parallel to it. Um, since they don't obviously turn opposite directions, uh, this one is sort of on the inside and that one is on the inside as well. Obviously to get that flat up here and that turn. So I did have to bend that one a little bit. And then all I've done is um, fixed it to the screw on the side here of the fairing and then literally the three screws around the front um, I melted it with a heat gun and uh, you know it wobbles a little bit but um, it uh, I put a V with the heat gun in it here that helps keep it a little stiffer from uh, being a little less floppy it's a little too tall for off-roading and several times I jab myself in the chin uh, with this so I had plans to cut it a little bit shorter anyway uh, which would reduce the amount of uh, flexing because this is quite sturdy down here it's just the end piece that doesn't have any uh, any structure to it that flaps a little bit so you could definitely you know cut a shape up here add maybe a little bit more of a V to the middle uh, for a little bit more structure but uh, I'll get this thing pulled off and then uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, guys, just a quick comparison with the uh, the Parabellum here. This is the, the home-built job. Um, obviously, I had this mounted about there inside, so you can see this one is a good four or five inches taller uh, than the Parabellum. Again, I was looking to cut this one down. Um, it's a little wobbly, but I did put just a heat gun kind of curve into it and um, just add a little rigidity. And then, of course, these guys here got just some metal screws. I uh, took a grinder pop those off so I didn't have sharp edges back here and these are just a 90 degree turn sort of post from uh, 2 by 4 and again I'll throw in some some videos for Home Depot but um, just a slight bend here again just with a heat gun super simple um, nice and cheap definitely did its job but if you're going to be doing more dual sport things off-road I did find it it was a bit tall and I think you get a little bit more rigidity by cutting it down but other than that worked flawlessly the only reason I went with the Parabellum it was a gift um, for at Christmas time and this we'll do in a separate review, but this worked flawlessly, but for this type of money Not too bad it gets that wind off you a little bit better for highway and long johns